Breaking news right now, U.S. officials suspect a Chinese spy balloon is in U.S. skies and it's been spotted hovering over Montana. Yeah, what a story. WGN Shannon Halligan has more on what the Pentagon is saying about this tonight. Yeah, the surveillance balloon we're learning is about three school buses in length. That's according to Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy. He spoke with us tonight about the strain that this puts on U.S.-China relations. Spotted in U.S. airspace, Pentagon officials confirmed this high-altitude balloon flew over sensitive sites in U.S. airspace, and it's likely a surveillance tool from China. Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy is on the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence, which has been tracking aerial objects for some time, but said this is a serious violation. Basically, having these balloons fly over our nuclear silos in Montana to spy on those particular nuclear silo fields. Uh, we don't know that to be the, surely the case, but we have to glean from what's happened that that is certainly a, a high possibility. NBC News first reported about the sighting. The balloon was spotted over Billings, Montana on Wednesday. It flew over the Aleutian Islands through Canada and into Montana. Pentagon officials said fighter jets were prepared to shoot down the balloon, but the risk was too large for people on the ground. This balloon is actually three school buses uh, length, so it's a very large um, amount of material. The debris field would be large were it to come down. Congressman Krishna Morthy is also the ranking member of the newly created House Committee on China. The committee is tasked with looking into various threats from China. He said this comes at a very significant time, just days before Secretary of State Antony Blinken is scheduled to make his first trip to Beijing. You can't just have these brazen violations of our airspace. And so I think that Secretary Blinken is probably going to raise with our CCP counterparts uh, that uh, this is unacceptable. Uh, again, this violates uh, our norms. And, um, you know, we, we have to do whatever we can to counter it. Tensions with China are particularly high on numerous issues, including China's conflict over Taiwan. This also comes on the same day the U.S. and the Philippines announced an agreement to expand America's military presence there. And the most northern point of the Philippines is just about 100 miles from Taiwan. I wonder where it's all going. Shannon, thank you. Thank you, Shannon.